Plory models. I'm Philip Plory here on the Thursday, the 11th of June. Guys, months going far, far too quick. Um, as you can see, pushing on with the old uh, Typhoon today. Um, to be honest, engine. Uh, confession time we had a bit of a faux pas you might see now uh, when you're watching part one a little bit later on because that's up on the site now you'll notice this bit was upside down so when we came to mount the engine yeah I had it upside down so we had to cut that off flip it round and then uh, put it back in but needless to say a bit of a pain to do that and I need to add the bits on because obviously we knit them off by mistake uh, but hopefully it hasn't caused too many problems about mounting the engine. The only thing I did notice was um, like now hopefully it's nice and level but before when you put it on the mounting uh, blocks it literally was nose up and there's no way that was right. So what I actually did was the one where it mounts to the fuselage to the cross I cut it off so I've taken that tab completely off now so it is sitting on its own braces I think that's a lot easier. Also the cable hole it gives you is absolutely rubbish there's no way you're ever going to get a cable through it so we've done that. But this particular one usual thing we've used the old uh, buffer balls down here we use the dark iron and then we've just given it a rub to put it nicely to give it some metal look and everything else so really happy with that we've gone along done the silver and this is what's taking so much time taking care of all the burring that's on the pipe work and everything else like that so we've got some of the pipe work the next bits to go in there uh, and we've got these or uh, the injectors things like that uh, it just takes time just cleaning them up alone was probably like a couple of hours of work just to get it all nice and everything to make them you know so when they're going to be on there it's not going to look silly with a big seam line running through them all but literally I'm just about to start getting these parts here we've got some of the other bits we did silver at the same time and we've polished up some of these bits down here as well so they're all going to fit in there really liven it up and then obviously we can add extra hosing and stuff like that once it's all together and we can see exactly how it is now the old instrument panels finished in there hopefully you can see it's all looking very nice down in there so it's the time consuming bit doing all these little pipe work and cleaning up and sanding and polishing and everything else like that hopefully once we get this bit out of the way the lump and we can get this installed down onto here and all things like that it's going to be the major part of the work out of it everything else should be straightforward hopefully uh, and come together quite sort of quickly because obviously a lot of work going inside of this a lot more detail than originally I was anticipating there being so that's why we're definitely going to be cutting some panels off of the side of the fuselage so we can still see all of this because as I said we're in the test mode with it it's on the ground it's having a lot of work done I can get away with it so that is the plan for that one but needless to say part one of that is up on the site now you're going to get part two tomorrow all right so a bit of a spoiler for you so you can have plenty to look at over the next few days uh, and then obviously you're going to get the last parts of the ATST uh, Monday Tuesday and then a load more parts of this because I've probably got around about even to get to this stage uh, three or four parts just in here okay by the time we get these bits on definitely going to be four parts so there's lots of bits for you to see on that one so um, get off have a look at that one this evening and go through a couple of bits housekeeping okay uh, first of all uh, guys you're all panicking far far too much because now the system is deleting you um, because obviously you had failed payments throughout obviously January uh, sorry May when we were away and uh, now we're into June, well, April, May, June, yeah, May when we were away, got to remember. Uh, you know, obviously we just froze the system. It's been flicked back on now. You've all had emails telling you how to resubscribe and what to do and all the bits and pieces. I know some of you have multiple email accounts. Just have a look and check your spam folders. They are in there. But a lot of you are saying, oh God, I didn't unsubscribe and all the rest of it. We know what PayPal's like. Don't panic. What happens is you have your credit card on file with PayPal. When your subscription is tied to that card, it's a safeguard between yourselves and us that basically when that card expires or gets cancelled perhaps it's been cloned and cancelled it cancels your subscription okay what this stops us doing is literally taking payments forever so say you forget that you're a member to us and you go off and do another hobby or whatever you're doing and it keeps chipping away at that 2.99 it will only do it as long as that card exists so it's going to be a maximum of three years anyway all right but a lot of you like your cards expire things like that these days and you have a right old panic don't panic about it literally all you've got to do follow the information shoot me an email and I will say, tell you the same email back uh, and tells you all about how to resubscribe you do it just like that now if you don't take any notice and you have been kicked out fear not your forum account will stay active for another 30 days even though it's been cancelled all right you can't get to it but it's on a cancel list and what happens is it just sits there 
like uh, on your iPhone photos when you've deleted them and then after 30 days it really is deleted and you lose everything. So you've still got another month. So when you're looking at it in the great scheme of things you get f basically a month of warnings before you're actually kicked out. Then you get another month before you lose everything. So you do get two months and if you um, you know had your payments cancelled beginning of May it's going to give you three months in total okay. So don't worry about it too much but I know a load of you have a right flap oh what am I going to do I can't get in blah blah blah. Don't panic about it. Just follow, resubscribe. Don't fill in your details again because then your account will update itself. It will literally just self-update and away you go. And then you can go through. If you can't get in and it's saying you're not recognized and all the rest of it, just resubscribe, shoot me an email, okay? And then what happened is it should do it automatically if you use the same details as you had before. But if not, I will then basically just link your forum account to your main site account and your payments and all your bits and pieces. But far too many of you are panicking at the moment. There's no worries, there's no problems with it. And we can sort of resurrect even deleted accounts up to 30 days once they've expired for the forum. So you're not losing all your build threads and all your bits and pieces and your SIGs and all those things and group builds, they're all absolutely fine. They're not going to go anywhere. Okay. So there we go. That's that bit. Now, speaking of which uh, has been reminded to, to me, um, I've got down here on my phone. Okay. So we've got the Middle Eastern uh, group build. Obviously it's the big group build. It comes with medals, prizes, and all the bits and pieces that go with it. So that's the stirring up dust. That's going to finish on the 21st of June. So yeah, you've only got a couple of weeks to get on with that one. So we want to get that one pushed through, get your entries in, make sure that your actual photo builds are all up to date and go all the way through and everything else like that. Uh, we've got the twin tail mashup, okay? That's going to run until the 26th of July. That's any aircraft that's got two tails. Doesn't matter if it's an F-18 or a Blancaster, B-24, whatever you want to do. Okay, anything that's got two tails counts in that one, all right? Uh, where's my top, okay, which is the armored fighting vehicle SIG that's ongoing at the moment. You've got until the 6th of September because that one's only just started literally last month so loads of time for that basically it's any type of vehicle uh, military vehicle that doesn't have a roof so it can be a rag top i.e. a soft top or just not have one full stop okay and everything else like that the next group build that is going to be starting up after the actual stirring up dust finishes on the 21st is actually going to start on the 27th of June. It's going to run right the way till December, okay? And that is the red versus blue, okay? It's the day, uh, what do we call it at the end of her? Dangerous Crossroads, 1950 to 1969, um, okay? The idea of this one is it's the start of the Cold War, okay? It's when everything started getting hot around about that time. Full details, we're going to talk about that on probably tomorrow's show as well, so you can start planning what you're going to build and all those things. Uh, the area has been set up in the forum. Hans has already done that area, so you've got your chat area, your work in progress, final reveals. You can't post in there yet, but those will be opened up a little bit closer to the time, uh, and then as soon as we get going, they're going to be there as well. So usual thing there's going to be medals for that one for everybody who takes part a little prize for everybody who takes part and then obviously there's going to be winners uh, and all things like that which we will sponsor and the sales team i know are sponsoring heavily this year as well with kits which would be nice and everything else like that um as you know it's thursday uh normally it's my review day and to be honest i have got a couple of reviews to do but i've been cracking on with this trying to get some video builds in the bag so to speak so i've got a breather also i've I didn't order anything uh, to be honest for the last month because I knew we weren't going to be here. Uh, I have been ordering again and the orders are due in soon. So we're going to be doing lots of on testy type things coming up. We've got those new AK uh, metalizer paints. We've got the entire lot coming in. Um, so hopefully they're going to be in by next week as well, by next Thursday. So we can get those on test because really want to find out if you can really mask over them and deckle them and everything else and don't worry about it. Or if they are just a bit of hype. Okay, so we're going to be looking at those. And also hopefully by next week we're going to have Tamiya's new squiggly uh, Tamiya tape, uh, the, the curly one, the thin one that stretches and sort of go around corners. Uh, hopefully we'll have that in by next week as well. But as I said, Thursday's normally our day for doing uh, reviews and that. But because I haven't, you're going to be sport and you're going to actually have uh, part one of the actual build for the uh, Typhoon and everything else like that. And then obviously tomorrow and so forth and so on. So to keep you all nicely busy. So that's it, as I said, it's all a little bit quiet at the moment. I'm still getting back into the swing of things and everything else. I'm trying to get some serious build work done so I've got a little bit of a breather gap and everything else like that. Um, you know, and there's various things coming up as well that I've got to plan and sort out. I'm away with Snap in two weeks time. So two weeks on Friday, I'm not here again. Just for the week because we're away with the Snap charity, uh, doing our bit there. So we've got that one. We've got 
got the members weekend now we're calling it we used to call it a barbecue but it's a weekend now uh, we're going to be talking about that what we're going to be planning on doing for it uh, when it is times and all the rest of it uh, so if anybody wants to come along with that you can start to plan with that one uh, and everything else so still lots and lots to come that's about it for today. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more on this engine and get that one before the finish of today. I'm going to get all the pipe work hopefully onto it and all those areas and then that way that's done then and we can start to move on to the other sections of it. I would say I'm enjoying it but I'm not because the burring work is absolutely driving me mad. Uh, but it is coming together. We are getting there. A couple of mistakes by myself. A couple of kit mistakes as we know because it doesn't mention some of the plumbing in the actual manual uh, and things like that. But uh, definitely we're looking good. We're going to get there. So that's it for today. I'm with Catch it tomorrow.